We've been here for a couple of hours now. We've been running battles. There's some gunfire in the background. You may be able to hear that at the moment. There have been running battles between pro and anti Morsi supporters. On the anti Morsi side, the security services are there. They've been firing CS gas canisters and firing shots, bird shot, it seems. Uh, mostly, there have been some live shots too. Mostly, it seems going over the heads of protesters. They seem to be warning shots. I haven't seen anyone hit, hit there. But the, uh, the government forces, the security forces, now appear to be trying to push back these many, many hundreds of pro-President Morsi supporters closer to the mosque where they've been assembled demanding the president's return for a number of weeks now. When did the shooting begin, Quentin? Because Reuters is just reporting, attributing to the Muslim Brotherhood a statement that claims that at least 23 people have been killed in this attack on pro-Morsi uh, supporters in Cairo. I presume they're referring to the place where you are now. That's right. We've heard that there have been uh, fatalities here, that a number of people have been killed. Uh, there are reports, we haven't seen this with our own eyes, that they've been hit by live rounds which were fired directly at them. Some of the eyewitnesses we've spoken to have told us that. There are many ambulances here taking people to a nearby uh, Nassau City Social Security Hospital, but mainly to a field hospital which has been set up in the mosque behind me. We just stepped back a bit at the moment uh, because those protesters were being pushed back and the CS gas was very thick indeed. In fact, at one point, as the CS gas rounds were coming in, we had to duck down for protection and people surrounded us to give us protection. But some people certainly have been injured by those incoming canisters and we are hearing reports that a number of people have been killed here by live rounds.